I spend most of my Thursday nights driving. I drop the girl off at the home and then I go. I just go anywhere. I need those few small moments where I can feel completely free from everybody. There's a road that stretches around an old garden that my friends all worked at for years. It started just outside the south of the city, a little road that veered off right so suddenly that I was doing 20 under the limit just so I could spot it on time. It led past the garden shop into the straight blackness. I've been on that road a few times with some of the other friends, and I can predict most of the turns and stops far before I see them. As I left the light of the city, I flashed on my high beams and made the sudden ride onto the road. I must have turned in too quickly. Gravel and dust filled the back of the window of my car. Sort of a dark cloud that took away all light from the city behind me, just for a moment. The tires lost traction and I start to veer into the ditch, fortunately saving myself with only inches to spare. My little Toyota Tercel is not the best thing for dirt roads, but it's enough to get what I want out of it. The road stretches far beyond my sight, fading into a chilling darkness. It has a few houses, small farmlands, and barns strewn along it, each with their own twisting paths. The trees above loom over, cracking all the light coming from the sky above. Long branches strewed towards the ground like long fingers pointing. I pick up more and more speed as the road starts to straighten out, watching the edge of my headlights guiding my way to a tranquil place, far beyond the worries of mine or any others. Up on the lip of the hill is a spot that overlooks the city, a popular place for many of the teenagers here in the South End, often seen with many couples solidifying their nights and occasional groups of stoners who like to simply, I don't know, watch things. The road leads up to this place, curving right until the top is reached. As I climb it, I can already see the taillights of four or five cars already up there, all minding their own business. I see a darker road, far less traveled upon, emerge on my left, avoiding the city watchers. I've never seen this road before, but I figure that if I have a full tank and stay within one hour of the city, what the hell? Might be worth my while to see something I haven't seen before. This road runs directly west and is completely straight with no houses, farms, or barns peppered along its curb. Even the trees have disappeared, opening up the view to a vast farmland with hills on both sides of the road, just cutting off sight of any further land. Perfect. I stay on this road for a long time. My iPod's on shuffle and much of the music is hitting all the right notes I want to listen to. Mostly that of Led Zeppelin. There's nothing like blasting stairway to shut out all the noise outside. I must have been 20 minutes before I started to worry, though. The hills on both sides of the car have grown so close to the road that they feel like they've turned into walls, blocking any sight around me. A tiny valley that seemed to stretch into infinity. I figured I should just turn around and come back the way I came. I didn't make any turns, so it should be easy for me to follow it all the way back. So I pulled over and made a U-turn. <laughs> I even signaled for it, I don't even know why I did, but for a second, that signal caught something that stopped me in my tracks. It was tall, and looked like a man, but it, it couldn't have been. It could have been a bush that the shadows made to look taller, even thinner? I waited there for a few seconds with my headlights on that spot, but there wasn't anything. My car kicked into the highest gear and I was sailing. I wasn't going any faster than I needed to be since there were a ton of deer that liked to run out in front of things I'd hear, but fast enough that I was breaking the limit more than I was obeying it. From behind me, a light started to fill my mirror. I couldn't make out what it was at first, but it was definitely headlights and they were coming closer. I started to slow down, but still keeping momentum in the case that it might be one of the highway rangers making the rounds on the deserted roads. But something told me that whoever this person was, they weren't carrying a badge. Closer and closer the car got, gaining on me like they were being chased by something. As the car became clearer, it zoomed past me in the oncoming lane, honking frantically. It could be a couple of kids out for a care, I don't know. It didn't really alarm me until I looked into the rear view again. Behind me was a face with no features. Pale as paper, just staring at me. 
It didn't move. It didn't even react to the bumps on the road. It was just there. Like a picture on a screen staring back at me. I was so frightened that I almost lost control of my car, drifting into both the left and the right lanes I tried to grasp myself. I looked behind me and there was nothing. Not a single thing. The air hung fuller than ever before, almost damp, and every breath filled my lungs with a thick, moist air. It was the same thing as earlier from the turning signal. I'm terrified. I pushed down hard on the gas, starting to speed past untouched places on my speedometer. I begin to wonder if this is what the other person was running from or if they even got out. Then I see a dim red light ahead of me. The other car. This time is going slower. Almost a cruising speed. I don't know if they think they are okay, but if it just got to me, then it most certainly be able to get to them. I start to hawk frantically at the car as I speed past them in the oncoming lane, but it doesn't move. I look in my rearview mirror again and then I see something. Not it, but me. Driving the other car. I start to feel an upset feeling in my stomach like I'm about to throw up. It couldn't have been me. I, it couldn't have. I shake my head to compose myself and put my view back on the road. My eyes cleared and the headlights behind me disappear into the blackness and I'm finally out of this and I can start to see the hills spread apart where they were in the beginning. I let out one laugh at the situation to rub the sleep from my eyes. But when I open them again, that thing stood in front of my car, dark and hunched over, staring back at me with the same non-existent eyes. My wheels catch on the gravel as I try to avoid it and I run full speed into the ditch, flipping the car over. I begin to think about why I chose this road. There could have been any other. I crawl out of the wreckage with as much strength as I have left and just before I fall asleep. A toy editor cell is driving down the road I just came, blasting stairway to heaven. I didn't even bother to scream.